you and Zeke with Talking Lead. I'm left hand. And I'm, seven. <laughs> and I'm stretching a lot with the mic, so you're going to hate this. But we're here with Reaper Outdoors. They've got a show on Pursuit Channel. Pursuit yeah. Channel, yeah. They've got a show on the Pursuit Channel, and this is Reaper 01, Reaper 02, and Reaper 03. How y'all doing? We're doing great. Doing great. Thanks awesome. for having us up here, Zeke. Appreciate yeah, no problem, no problem. And y'all do, y'all got a very unique show, right? It's more. You hunt and you survive at the same time? Oh, absolutely. It's okay. a, really, it stands by this, tactical hunting and survival. And what we do is we throw all that together, we use all those skills, and we go out there and hunt the animal, target it, and hunt it, take it, and eat it. Gotcha. And it's usually just the three of you and maybe one more person, right? Correct. Yeah, it's just us out there doing it. Uh, it's three of us. Sometimes we bring out a fourth guy, but for the minute, this is the Reaper team right here. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, we may uh, sneak out there with you one time. Y'all could scare the hell out of us. <laughs> <laughs> what are your easier uh, tricks, maybe? Uh, what uh, What I want to know is, do you guys have certain roles or jobs while you're out in the field? Oh, shows? sure. Some sure. one person responsible for something? Well, like, he's the host of the show, which everyone should know that, Reaper Zero One. And then Reaper Zero Two is the main camera guy. Yep. And then I'm B-roll and still. So, but we're, we're all, you know, everybody gets out there. I get to be in front of the camera and do my thing. But at the same time, you know, these, we get tags. We all have tags. So if I tag out, then these guys jump on the weapon. One thing they do is don't put zero one on the camera, but I get my hands on it every once in a while. Yeah. So, what's so that, what happens when you get your hands on the camera? I don't know. I haven't really broke anything yet. <laughs> on, this guy has uh, broken a camera, yeah, yeah. I broke and he camera. runs it a I couple times. Yeah, I dropped it out of a tree at 20 feet, but oh, he had lost his glove five minutes before that, and I was making fun of him. <laughs> and the camera fell right on the glove and survived. It's karma. So oh, awesome. it, 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 took, it, it took the screen and snapped it off, and they didn't tell me, and they closed it. The eyepiece is crooked in it, and I'm like, what's going on? I opened this. You broke it. And I was like, no, I don't think so. The reason we don't tell him anything, though, because all he does, he bitches about it. I can't believe you guys did this. Like, when we're out here hunting in the middle of nowhere. So he goes ahead, but he welded it together. He's so cheap. Can't get it fixed by, you know, somebody who does it. I couldn't find the screws. So I took it to my weld shop, put it together. Zip, zip. So y'all basically... Y'all pulled a redneck version of Tommy Boy on him. Like when he goes oh, to the door and it falls over. What did you do? <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. It was but, crazy. Uh, it was fun. Tell us a little bit about your backgrounds. Uh, well, I've been a SEAL for 25 years. Okay. And uh, right now I'm getting ready to retire, so I'm going to do this full time. Awesome. And we're going to take it to the people out there and make sure they understand what tactical and hunting, how that overlap works. Then, uh, you know, outdoors, my brother and I, John, we grew up in Backwoods, PA. And we lived in Alaska, one room log cabin, dirt floor. Literally when we were small, we didn't have any, uh, we really didn't have any money. So we lived off the land, so our parents did a great job. Of and you ate most of the food from what I'm looking at. <laughs> Look at me. Well, <laughs> of course. That's why he eats like this and I eat like this. I just pick away. <laughs> and then, of course, Doug, he can tell you his background, NFL star here. Yeah, hey, I'm from Ohio. Played football at Ohio State and uh, with Atlanta and Tennessee. and. Uh, Met Ron, actually doing some extra training, and uh, go Titans, you know it. <laughs> yeah, my background's just uh, hunting, living off the land when I was a kid, and then, uh, you know, I live in New Orleans, and, you know, hook up with these guys, go have some fun, awesome. you know, get out of the city. What kind of was that moment where y'all are like, let's do a show? Uh, well, actually, they drug me into it yeah, yeah, because okay. they were talking about it and said, oh, it'd be perfect for my brother to come in on this with us. And I was yeah, like, we, oh. we had known each other for a while. And when I was in Iraq, you know, we were sending care packages out, doing all that cool stuff. And uh, we're talking on the phone, and our dad was filming his hunts, mm -hmm. and he wanted to break into that. That was his dream. So what we ended up doing was, was like, well, let's pull that SEAL element, that what you do as far as jumping out of planes and doing all this stuff, bring that into the wilderness world. So uh, with Doug's background and John's background, we just met up in Mississippi, yep. and we just whiteboarded some things, got some ideas together, said, hey, let's do this, and we just took off from there. And, and we don't want to grow up. None of us want to get real jobs. We're not supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> no. <right. laughs> no growing That's up. That's what we all strive to do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the concept itself is brilliant in my mind. I mean, the survival shows are huge right now. You get the dual survival, mm -hmm. Bear grills, all those guys doing that. Hunting shows are big too, but you don't see the both. Every now and then, like on Dual Survivor, Survival, they'll kill a pig or something. Yes. Yeah. But that's like once every month. Yeah, but you never but this is like firearms. the combination of both. Yeah. You're using firearms. You're, I mean, it, the 
the concept's amazing. I like it. Yeah, firearms, you know, in the world of survival, back when this country was founded, you know, firearms played a big role in American history. In fact, that's why we have America today. And that's why we're here at the NRA show, you know, supporting because, you know, people tend to forget how this country evolved and what we had to fight for back then. Right. So, and then to get back to your point of hunting and survival, people hunted from day one to survive. Right. And whatever technology they could use from, from day one of throwing rocks to now using weapons. So, you know, our concept is this. If you have the best weapon system out there, why not use that weapon system to go out there and collect your kill and get your food? Yeah. And, you know, we just take it to a whole nother level when it comes to all that stuff and just yeah. bring awareness to it, you know? Very cool. Talk, talk to us a little bit about one of uh, your most memorable episodes that you've had to date. I think, I think the one we probably favor the most, or we have a couple, they're all great, but we went to Maine. Maine was a, a true adventure. A friend of mine, a veteran, it's up there running a guide service. What he does, he brings people into a camp and he does all this stuff. And I said, hey, can we come up there and hunt? You know, you, that's how you get these hunts. And he's like, yeah, come on, I'll set the plan. He literally planned this hunt out. Yeah. And what he did was had some canoes. Right. So we canoed in. We had a remnants of a hurricane sweep through there while we're on this hunt. We had to literally fish to get food because the bear, because everything just kind of, we we're bear hunting. And the uh, bear just weren't reacting normal just because of the weather. Mm -hmm. So we ended up one day, we caught one fish between the three of us. Wow. The next day we had eight. We got eight fish. That's and, bonus. and that was, we were fat, dumb, and happy, <laughs> laying on the side of that lake like, oh, this is awesome. So I would have to say, in my opinion, I think the main hunt was probably one of the favorite events to do and go out there and make yeah. it happen. Because it was true survival right. while we are out yeah, there. Yeah, and at the end at the last minute, we were in a, our hide site doing our thing. We got some. We got a call from Matt, the guy, and he said, hey, man, we got a hot bait site over here. Picked us up, Reaper style, drove in a truck, back down there. Last day, Ron and I are in the hide. Bear comes in. Ron takes it with a bow. I mean, it was it was awesome. We're hungry as hell, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> But we had other ones where, you know, in Texas, San Antonio, we did an dad hunt down there. Yeah. And that environment was treacherous because just it was hot, 104 degrees in the middle of the day. So we had to build shelter, you know, to get out of that, bring that water, very limited in water. And, you know, the dad itself and the terrain they can follow and get on, we had a heck of a stock and a heck of a time getting out there and doing our thing. Mm -hmm. So that was an adventure. So they're all adventures. They're all great. Sure. Just, we don't have enough time to name them all. So... What people got to understand is that when you guys go out, it's just the three of you. You guys don't have a, a crew that goes out with you and, you know, you got a cameraman and, a, you know, all this no, stuff. Yeah, it's well, exactly. just the three of you guys are working the cameras, you're doing the guns, you're doing everything yourself. Absolutely. You know? What we take in, we take back out, too. We don't leave our trash laying there. You don't even know that we existed in that environment that we were at, operating in. Yeah, that's a great point, too. And sometimes, you know, we do take it, like you said before, we'll take a fourth guy because we want to get certain angles and, and bring that in. Or if there's a landowner that wants to go with us all day long, because they, they have allowed us to come on their property and hunt these animals. And then, you know, if there's, uh, you know, wounded warriors, we'll do that all day. I mean, you, how would you turn that down, you know, to bring them in and, and do that? So we do those events as well. So we want to capture that, so we'll bring a fourth guy in, whether it's taking pictures or B-roll type uh, footage. Gotcha. You know. Yep. So... What's the, or were you going to ask another question? Uh, I got another, go ahead. Oh yeah, go ahead. I was just going to ask him contact information. I don't know. Okay, yeah. I was going to ask you, uh, what do you got coming up? Can you reveal that yet? Uh, we, we, give us a little taste. Yes, yeah, so I'll give you, I'll give you a great taste. Well, what we have coming up this year is we have some amazing hunts coming up. Really, right now, with the insertion platforms we're using and how we're going to utilize that in the hunt, entertainment value is going to be off the charts but the hunts that we're going to be doing and the way we're going to be surviving because we've learned a lot in the last two years you know two and a half years of filming and getting this stuff going but this year we're going to take it to a whole nother level stuff that hasn't been done that we know of at least in this world so that's the next level next step so we're going to be hunting surviving and bringing all that tactical stuff now now when we come you can just drive us in as the insertion. negative yeah you okay. need us we'll give you our uh, pants <laughs> we're doing yeah. exactly what you, you guys have do. to go with us the way we're going to do it the exactly what all right so the most intense one. <laughs> and speaking of intensity I, I know these things like you're saying i mean you guys may go days without eating 
Uh, and just the three of you out there, I mean, do you get on each other's nerves? Has there ever been, you know, a fisticuff situation or anything like that uh, that comes to mind? No, you know what? It's not necessarily fisticuffs. They're brothers. I feel like I'm one of their brothers now. So it's that brotherly getting on your nerves, personalities get a little grinding. But as far as fist, Fisco, he's not going to fight me. He knows that's not going to work, right? <laughs> I'm not going to fight him because he's smaller than me. And he's a SEAL. So who's going to beat him up? So, he just looked at him. He trumps everybody, right? <laughs> That's I awesome. Him. He just puts me in holds. He knows how to fight. It's no fun. <laughs> We've done some stuff, and it was just, you know, it's kind of funny. It's just more, that's where experience comes in. He's young, tough, and all that good stuff, but, you know, just that experience. You know, you never, it's just like your dad. Right. You know, you always, no matter how old your dad gets, he's always the man that can whoop your ass. No matter what, right. so he's not my daddy. But we do. We <laughs> we have a good, great relationship to the point where, you know, we do get on each other's nerves. We all have our own, you know, worlds and our own mindsets about and our own ideas. But at the same time, we'll get at it, and then we're off of it, and we're moving, and we're just laughing, hoking, and joking, kind of like the old Viking world. You know, we're drinking your mead and just out there doing your thing, it's and more, that's that's how we are. It's more in the editing room, man. We get yeah. we get our nerves way more in the editing oh, yeah. room than we ever do out oh, in the field. Sure. Yeah. Out of the field, it's more focused. Your nature, things are going good usually. You know, it's, it's not as bad. <laughs> so you're saying there's mead on these trips? <laughs> no, not on the trip. <laughs> oh. Afterwards, for celebration, we will have there some mead. There we go. Some home brew. No alcohol and firearms involved. That's right. Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Um, did you have another question? Oh, uh, Reaper Zero One. Uh, tell us a little bit about tell how our listeners can find the show, your website, any contact information. Absolutely. All you got to do is go to ReaperOutdoors.com, and you'll find us there. That'll have all the channel information, everything you need. Get on the Facebook and like us, of course, and then Twitter. Gotcha. And then, you know, we air on the Pursuit Channel this year. I'll tell you what, it's a great show and a great time, and thank you for having us. Here. Hey, no problem. And as always, keep, keep your, your loved, loved ones, ones close and your, and your firearms, firearms closer. closer.